So we could, we just probably need some signatures of people that live around the area. But once we get the signatures of the people around the area, we can make that happen in a couple of weeks and have another rally up there when we That's rename right. the street Dawn Reddick Boulevard. Sound good? We could, that's, the, that's the least we could do. That's the least we could do. And Brother Wright, you know, it's, it's probably some gun-toting cats out there would have went the other way when the bullets were shot, would have left that kid right there. You know, that's the real, that's the truth of it because the, the people got the gun because they scared. We got it twisted. We, we think people carry guns because they brave. People carry guns because they scared. So you'd see, if they got a gun, somebody shooting at them, so that's why they have to have it, so they would have ran the other way and left the girl there. There's, when I was coming up, I was in a nation of gods and nerves when I was a kid, and it was, it was a lesson that was in there that said, why does the devil keep our people illiterate? So that we are ignorant and a slave. Why does the devil keep our people illiterate? So we are ignorant and a slave. So we've been doing rallies for over a year. On at almost every part of the city, we block traffic. Some of you might have been in them cars cussing us out, trying to get by, because we done shut down the street or two. You might have been upset trying to go to the hair appointment, nail appointment, pick a kid up, whatever, so forth and so on. You was upset because you was inconvenienced by the fact that we had to shut down the street because somebody was murdered, right? So you probably was fussing. I know some of us was like that, and I, if you wasn't, thank you. If you got out your car and, and helped us good, because in Brooklyn, you know, when the, when a little kid died in Brooklyn, you know, the, the, the Jewish community, and they should have, came out together and they knocked on all them doors and they showed everybody in America what a unified community should look like. If somebody in their community is lost or gone, that everybody came together and knocked on doors and made sure not only did they find out what happened to the child, but bring the justice, the perpetrator of the child. See, we know in this crowd, like, in this crowd, we know the people who do it X, Y, and Z, but we can't bring them to justice because we don't have the same courage as those people in the community in Brooklyn or we don't love each other enough to bring justice to the people who are actually been killed by these other cats that are out here running around shooting people arbitrarily. We give credit to people who are sociopaths, psychopaths. They grow. If you kill four or five people in a community and you're still able to go to parties and hang out and shake people's hands and drink with them, there's something wrong with you. You a sociopath. And, when, you, and when, when, when we praise these people because they've murdered people and we allow them into our circles, then we support sociopathic behavior. Then we support psychopathic behavior in our community, in our neighborhood. See, when, when, I, when I said in the beginning about why the devil keeps our people ignorant and a slave, they created sport and play for us. They create their, their sport and play for blacks and Latinos and poor people in these neighborhoods. Their sport and play and there's and there's foolishness and, 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 and things that are on a face level just for us. They do that to keep us distracted from the real issues that are going on. So while we on Facebook arguing about basketball wives, there are people who are discussing the jobs that are coming into your neighborhood that you don't have. So when, when, when we know no, no, they created this stuff for us only. So when we out in the street arguing girls fighting on the street about new Louis Vuitton or whatever bags you got that's not really real in the first place, even the real one that you bought ain't real. So when you fighting about that in the street, they are actually fighting somewhere about how many stores they're going to own in your neighborhood, right? And your kid can't get a job because that is not a part of your discussion. And when, and, when, and when the babies are little, the first thing we teach the babies is how to fight. Somebody hit you, hit them back. No, we aren't teaching them how to read. If you teach people how to read, that's how you teach them how to fight. But because we don't teach our babies how to read, they are 15 year old illiterates. And when people wanna, and when people wanna recruit them into ignorance, it is easy to group people into ignorance because they were illiterate from the beginning. And when the devil said we keep our people illiterate, meaning you can't read, you can't discuss, you can't think, you can't differentiate. The only reason you know how to read is so you can get a little job to take care of yourself so you can get the money back to them anyway. You get a job so you can get the money right back to them. The same things that you buy, you don't own any of these things. How many stores and distribution companies do we have? We give the money back. So our life is about play. We go to work so we can play harder. We